Hi everyone. So in this video, we are going to talk about Nest.js standalone application. I mean, what are these Nest.js standalone application and how they can be helpful for some of some part of our development. I mean, it's not always that we want to create a HTTP server with some network listener, right? We can sometimes create a simple standalone application which is using the Nest.js IOC container and that can be deployed just as a function like Lambda, right? Nest.js standalone application. I mean, these are really very helpful and they can be used for different use cases. So, this is how the code looks like. Here we are creating nestfactory.create application context. I mean, we uh, most of the time do is create application or so here we are doing create application context. Once the application context is created, you should be able to access the services defined inside a Nest.js IOC container. So, here is the example where we are just writing a HTTP REST API like Nest.js APIs. It has a, a network listener attached. Here we are using Fastify adapter and in this main.ts we are just creating a simple REST API. At the end we are doing app.listen that means this is a, a Node.js process we are spinning up which is which keeps listening to on this particular port and we will keep waiting for the requests coming. So it's like an infinite event loop we have run. It will always keep waiting for the requests coming. I mean, and this process will be never ending until unless you yourself kill the process, right? So this is with the network listeners and with the because the network keep listening it, it keeps running in the event loop. Another thing you can do is a nest factory dot create application context. Instead of create, here we are doing create application context. And this is used for, so this is not same as creating a REST API. Here we are just passing app module. So what it is doing i mean it's not like we just need a rest api always i can take advantage of this uh, ioc container because here i got the ioc container in app2 and i can get the services using simply app2.get a service then i can call the service method whatever the method is defined inside the service right so for lambda functions or some cli application which you want to build in those cases you can just uh, use this IOC container because not always we wanted to uh, create the instance of the classes and dependent like this. You can just take the advantage of modules, services, factories, and providers for writing any standalone application, CLI application, or a simple function. Now, next thing what we are doing, we want to see how we can build a standalone application and how it is different from the normal applications which we are building. So here I'm trying to just create a bootstrap of the application and what the bootstrap function does. I mean here I'm just creating a app instance. This is inside a bootstrap. We are just returning the instance of the application and uh, what that looks like is let me just tune this in. So this is how we are doing it. Now what I will do is I will rename the existing main.ts to main underscore ts and copy create a new main.ts with this code and I will try to run this code by doing npm run build npm run start so what it will do what should happen it should it will just create a nest.js application it will initialize all the dependencies but it's not going to run forever because task done and it will exit because it's not using any network listener so what you can do is a one-time task like a lambda function execute and terminate some kind of a CLI application execute a task and done all those things kind of execution you can perform here now let's try to optimize it for the the lambda right so what we will do is we wanted to cache the app instance what is the objective uh, i mean we can deploy this as a lambda function why because we don't want to why i'm writing this code text code is i wanted to cache the app instance so whenever the lambda invoke after the first invoke it should cache the app instance and you don't need to do the whole initialization of these dynamic modules type ORM modules which takes time right so we can avoid all those things by just implementing a simple caching so I'm just uh, assigning the app instance to the cache app if it is not there we will create the instance in the same instance we are returning in the standalone app function because there you are calling calling the bootstrap and we are returning the cache app instance if it is there don't create application context if it is not there create the brand new application context 
and just get your uh, IOC service which is created using dependency injection framework and then call the search function plain and simple so this is like uh, can be used as a lambda function can be deployed to azure gcp azure or gcp or aws because at then we are just executing a lambda function and this lambda function is the whole nest js app just without the http network listener so it can contain your type orm connection database connections all the different services providers everything i mean in this standalone application there is no use of guard and because there is no network request is coming that's the only major difference otherwise this application works exactly like a nest js app without http rest apis now i'm trying to convert this into sns trigger so what happens is in the real world scenarios in asynchronous or event driven programming you send an event to the sns queue and there is a listener lambda listening to that event so it can be sns trigger s3 event trigger or a simple lambda sitting behind the api gateway right so sns handler event and context so now this lambda can be deployed as a sns trigger whenever the sns message comes it will consume it or can be sitting behind the api gateway so whenever i hit uh, the request this uh, sns uh, or this lambda function will invoke it can be a simple function which will just get a request and return you the response okay so this is how we can transform the whole thing and can reuse now that you you understand the importance of the standalone application we can create a cli app with the whole ioc container that's the real biggest advantage i will see that is all about what is the use of uh, nest js standalone application i mean they are really useful for the cloud and you can also build uh, some standalone application or cli application the important thing is you are writing a javascript code with the proper structure with this ioc framework dependency injections and the full blown nest js application so you don't need to go back to your vanilla javascript for writing these kind of applications